It is 8 o'clock in the morning and I am just kind of getting going. And I woke up at 6.45. Woo! I um, just kind of laid in bed for a while. <laughs> Wasn't like able to fall back to sleep so I was just laying there and just kind of contemplating like if I wanted to get up. So I'm up. And I have to take this little guy over here to the vet this morning in an hour because he needs his third round of boosters, which means that in two weeks, technically two weeks, he can go out into the real world. But I think it's like, that's like a really safe number. And I think I'm gonna do um, just a week after his boosters. He has to go home with us today, um, but luckily all the dogs he's gonna be around because every single house that we're probably be going to, we're gonna bring him. Um, and they all are vaccinated of like check. Probably won't take him over there, but then my in-laws where we're gonna be staying like overnight and stuff, their, um, our dogs, Chip and Faith, that we have there are vaccinated as well. And I'm really excited to see Faith and like see how she's doing from being hit by a car. But my father-in-law thinks that things are going really well, so. Anyway, so we're gonna take him home, but I need to get him his shots. He has a really, like, he has a really big rash that he's been like itching at on like underneath like his two back legs. So I'm gonna ask the doctor about that today. And that's pretty much it. So I need to do a crap load of laundry before I leave. I need to exercise, take a shower. I need to probably go down to UCLA to get my medical records um, of my last ultrasound on a disc so that I can give them to my doctor in Fresno on Monday because I'm going to him on Monday and he wants to see pictures of it, of the cyst on my left side. Um, so I need to do that. Um, and I always probably won't get home until like 11 because I had a really late night. And he said that he's gonna have to work over time this morning to compensate for something that happened. And yeah, so it's a busy day. And I feel like I haven't been very productive this morning at all. Like I didn't have him run stairs because I'm like, going to the vet is a lot of work for him and he gets really stressed out and the shots itself like take a lot of energy out. And so I'm thinking that that's just gonna have to like pass for today. So I'm gonna have to do my own thing. And I don't know what I'm gonna do. And it's, I just gotta get focused. Coffee, do your work. All right. I just finished up at the vet and little miss Mr. Hello. Blue Bear. Psst. Oh. oh. <coughs> finished up at the vet and he said that I was really upset because they didn't even let me see like the doctor. They just let me see like the tech nurse person and um he was like with the rash was like really bad and he was like oh it's usually from food that he's allergic to and I thought about that and I knew we'd switched over his food to another brand Merrick's dry food and we had been feeding him solid gold and he wasn't having a problem and then we switched over to Merrick's because it was like the same kind but it was cheaper for like a really big bag Think we're gonna have to go back to solid gold and just bite the bullet and spend 80 bucks on a big bag because it's really bad and he was like usually when you change up the food it's and they do that it's usually because they're allergic to something and it's if they don't have fleas it's usually just a food allergy because it's not like there's something like down there that he's itching at it's literally like something that's causing him to itch so that was that he got his last set of boosters and then they were like pretty adamant about um, the two week wait for his rabies shot. 
I swear I never knew this was gonna be this big of a deal. So two more weeks um, for his rabies shot and then he can go out after that. So I'm pretty excited, two more weeks, for sure two more weeks. Oh, I think we can do it. Um, I tried calling UCLA right now, no one answered. They said no one was available to take my call. I'm kind of just to the point where I just wanna to go to my doctor on Monday and be like, if you want the form, if you want the <laughs> information, you can send a release form and I'll sign off and you can get it because I'm tired of doing like this. Like I feel like they should be the one that should be doing it, not me. I don't know. So anyway, I'm going to, oh, and look at guys, my, like it's just a tan now. I'm telling you that stuff works so good. I look really white in this lighting, but I'm pretty, I, I don't know. It doesn't even look like I laid out, but I did, I swear. Um, that stuff is so amazing. It literally gets rid of it so fast. So check it out. I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna exercise, and I'm going to um, hope that the sun comes out because it just puts me in a better mood. Okay, so I'm just finishing um, packing and I'm gonna show you guys like literally what happens to my brain when I pack. Zip and ship, everyone. If you don't um, follow Michelle Money's channel, um, which is MMNL on YouTube, then you need to. So it's like a long time ago that she posted this, but I have done it ever since and it's so handy. So you put every, your whole outfit basically in a Ziploc with your accessories, your underwear, your bra, everything that you're going to be needing. Um, and so you just pull it out on that day and then it's right there for you. So that way you're not, and I've also included the shoes in some as well, um, as you can see. Um, but I'm only packing these three pairs and then my Converse, which didn't fit in these. But as you can tell, it like saves so much space and so much like hassle. So when you're ready to get ready in the morning, you just whoop, pull this out, ready to go. Oh, underwear. Has everything in it, your accessories, shoes, outfit, ready to go for the day. You're done. So easy. It's 5.20 and someone still isn't up, so I'm going to go wake him up. Poor guy is really tired. Um, and then hopefully we'll get on the road pretty fast. I don't think it really matters at this point. I think from 3 o'clock on we're going to be doomed for traffic. Oh, good volume. And so, um, yeah, I don't really, I don't think we're, we're going to be, um, getting home anytime soon. I think it's going to take at least four hours instead of, instead of three. Usually when we leave, um, during, in the evenings, it takes that long. I wonder if I can set this here. Sometimes it falls. Okay. Um, and then, so yeah, that's the plan. I have been editing tomorrow's video because I won't be able to do it tonight, obviously. So that's scheduled to go up tomorrow at 12, which you will already know. Um, and yep, that's pretty much it. I've just got to pack blue stuff, his food, his toys, and I'm done. I'm packed everything, I've packed all my makeup, everything's done, and I'm ready to take off. And I'm so excited. Yay! I don't even know where to begin. Basically, this guy right here, I feel so bad for him. He's like miserable. But, okay, so, <laughs> we're in the middle of, um, well, we're at the best place ever. I don't know if you can see this line. You can't, but we're in and out. And this is our, I keep looking that way, sorry, because there's like this random guy that keeps walking up and down. It's not weird. We just got um, past the grapevine, I think. Lord, so this is halfway for us. And for Blue, his the dewormer pill that he got at the vet today made him so sick. He threw up like five times in the car and he threw up worms. So we're like on the grapevine, like pulled over on like some bypass and like there he is. Hang on one second. Anyway. Um, poor guy got really, really sick from the 
few warmer and so we're like on the side of the road like I had sorry Haley but I had to use like half of your honest wipes because I didn't think to pack like paper towels and so I'm like trying to clean everything up we had potty pads so I'm like wiping the oh my gosh and he was like laying in it it was like terrible and it's just it was just a bad situation so I think what we're gonna do next time is we're gonna kind of give them a little bit more water I don't really know hopefully that'll help I just feel so bad. He didn't eat anything. I feel like he's kind of dehydrated and I don't want to give him any more water because I feel like that'll, he'll just need to pee and he's just going to throw up the water. But what a situation. Just keep Go me. Anyway, I have huge news. Huge, huge news, guys. You don't even understand. I was waiting to vlog about this and then this crap with the dog happened. Okay, so Elvis is like driving and he gets like a million text messages at once and he's like, oh my gosh. And I'm like, what? I was like, what? my mind wasn't even on what he was about to announce and he was like, we got our transfer. And I was like, my heart literally like wanted to explode, not believe that we got our transfer back to our home. We've been here in LA for two and a half years, doing our time, and he got, he got back because of his bilingual bypass. Apparently, like, it helps a lot if you are bilingual, especially in our area that we're moving back to. And I was just like, oh my gosh, you guys don't even know. Like, I called my sister and we sort of just sobbed together because we're, I'm finally moving back to my family. I'm gonna be close to my niece. I'm just gonna be close to my home. Like that's where we are both raised. That's where we are from. That's our home. I'm so excited. So now we're going home. We get to celebrate, and we get to start looking at houses. And I'm just like beside myself. So it's so exciting. He's coming back. I think our food is ready. Check back in later. Um. So anyway, you guys, I am like, oh, I can't even describe. He. His transfer date is December 2nd. He, like, that he has to report back. So I am probably going to move back a little bit sooner so that I can get, like, whatever house we're going to buy. We're going to be homeowners, guys. Oh, my gosh. I just, this excitement is just, like, it's so hard to contain. And I'm just, I'm beside myself. I can't, I can't even be excited about it because this poor little guy is, like, so sick. But... I'm gonna miss my LA friends. I'm gonna miss my LA life. I am, and I, I for sure didn't take it for granted. That's for darn sure. I lived it up there. I will for sure be going back and visiting and vacationing there because I love the area that we live in right now. But oh my gosh, I'm gonna be so excited not to make a three and a half hour, four hour drive. I'm just gonna really take it. <laughs> I'm so excited. I could cry. I really could cry. Finally home, my in-laws, and food exploring. So excited to meet Chip and Faith, which I'll show you guys tomorrow. Chip and Faith, my babies. They're so cute and they love Chip and Blue. I keep wanting to call Blue Chip. Um, but anyway, I'm so tired. It's 11. 30 and we left at 6. So done for today. So I'm gonna take off my makeup and put my hair on top of my head and crawl into bed. So thank you all for checking in for my big announcement. So so excited. It's like hasn't sunk in yet. We are even talking about like maybe we could look at houses this weekend. Anyway, good night everyone.